Hi Pisces, welcome to your first half of August Love Connection Reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, please do check out the description box below. Any and all information that you need is there, all kind of links and information. So please do go check that out. Decks I'm using would be greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. And before we get started, uh, just a quick shout out to uh, all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. Those who reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I could not do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. Really means a lot to me. And um, thank you so much. So I do this for you guys because I love to do it. So thank you, thank you. All right, Pisces, I hope everybody's doing well. In August already, can you believe it? August already. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. And this love connection can be for anybody you have in mind in any type of connection. So we'll see what we get here. All right, for Pisces, first half of August love connection this is a zodiac oracle so we may get a sign element or planet energy and we'll see how that resonates in your reading if you find you don't resonate with whatever comes out here that is totally fine it's just sort of like a little extra bonus so if this part doesn't resonate then just keep watching because the rest might and you would know by the title anyway if this will resonate or not but um anyway we'll see pisces one card for pisces in love First half of August, Spirit, please. What is the energy around Pisces for the first half of August, Spirit, please? Can we have one card for Pisces, please? Thank you so much. One card for Pisces. Oh, Virgo. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, and if not, that is totally fine. Or maybe uh, the person that you're dealing with. Maybe they have Virgo in their chart somewhere, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or uh, Venus. If not, um, you could even have it in your chart somewhere. Okay, so let's see, let's see. With this deck here, we will get a love energy card. What is the love energy like for Pisces? for the first half of August. What is the love energy like? And this love connection for Pisces, whoever they have in mind as they watch this. What is the love energy like in this connection? Can we have one card spirit please for Pisces? What is the energy like, the love energy like in this connection? Rest, okay. And I was just going to say with the Virgo card here that Virgo in Tarot in the Major Arcana is the Hermit, which is about taking a break, going within, spending time alone, uh, doing some thinking, reflecting, doing inner journey work. And you see six on the Virgo is about peace, uh, balance, um, and healing. And now we have rest for you. You've been working hard, taking a nap and get some rest. So maybe uh, there's something in this connection where... Um, Maybe you guys need to get away and go on vacation and get some rest, or maybe you are both just maybe on a break or a rest during this time in your relationship. I don't know, we'll see We'll see how that plays out. Or maybe this is telling you you're working too much and you're not spending enough time with your partner, not spending enough rest time, uh, vacation time, alone time with your person that you're thinking of, if you're in a connection, if you're in a relationship or marriage, and that sort of thing. So I don't know, we'll see, see how this plays out. So let's get one card for you, Pisces. How are you feeling in this connection? How are you feeling about your person? Okay, what do we have here? Self-forgiveness, let go of guilt, and remember that you're God's perfect child. Okay, so, Maybe you feel guilty that you're working so much and you don't have enough time to spend with your person. You don't have enough time to get away with the, your person or go on vacation or just spend quality time together. And maybe you feel guilty about that. 
don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so how is your person feeling towards you in this connection? Music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Hmm. Maybe they are a musician, or maybe you both really enjoy um, music together, maybe like going out and um, listening to bands, going to concerts, even going out dancing, <coughs> that sort of thing. Or you like to rest together and listen to some relaxing music, you know, maybe meditate together on uh, that sort of thing. And maybe you haven't had time to do that with your person. Um, I don't know, maybe you were both very spiritual and you like to do spiritual, relaxing things to relaxing music, you know, resting together. And maybe you haven't had time to do that for some reason and you're feeling guilty about it. I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird message. But if that resonates for some people, then that message could be for you. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. What's your thoughts? It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Hmm. So there's some element of fear here. Maybe, maybe you're having fear that the two of you aren't spending so much time together anymore, that, that you may lose this connection, or there may be something may, that may happen in this connection. I don't know. We'll, we'll get more clarity here with the tarot, see what's going on. I'm just curious. It's under there. Okay. Um... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Or it could be that, uh, no, your person could be a musician. Maybe they write music. Maybe they sing. Maybe, you know, they're interested in you and you are going through a period of healing, spending time alone. Um, maybe they're I don't know, maybe they're writing songs about you. Maybe they are writing poetry, uh, journaling, listening to music that reminds them of you. But it's saying here to watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So maybe you fear going into another relationship because of whatever you've been through here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on with you Pisces what's going on with Pisces one more shuffle All right. what's going on with Pisces why do they have self forgiveness here please spirit in this love connection why do they have self forgiveness for Pisces in this love connection one card please spirit thank you so much I think that one nine of mirrors hmm so this is water energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is your energy. So this is, uh, you know, this is about wish fulfillment, joy and happiness, dreams coming true. So, hmm. This is, you know, a single energy also. So, you know, maybe you're doing the inner work here because you do have Virgo, which is the hermit. And you're learning to forgive yourself. You're starting to have self-love, starting to be happy and joyous again. And maybe now you're seeing this person, at, person as your wish come true. Um, or they could even be a Virgo. But you're really seeing them, you know, maybe this is somebody I do uh, want. Because I think they really want you in their life. I'm getting heavily that they, they are heavily into music somehow. And listening to music reminds them of you. And they think of you all the time when they listen to music. And you're starting to see there that they, they are your wish come true also as you're going through this healing work and you're forgiving yourself and being in a more happier place. And you're watching your thoughts here and you're trying to come out of fear of this new connection. And maybe you've been working hard, you know, trying to... Uh, Avoid what you really need to deal with, but this is telling you, you know, you need to get re some rest here and really work on this healing and self-forgiveness. As with the Virgo, you know, finding your way, finding your light, finding your wish fulfillment, which probably is this person. So let's see uh, 
They're sitting in this energy. So let's see what we have here. The Ten of Scrolls. So this is the Ten of Swords. So, hmm. So this is air energy. So this is an ending, a completion, a painful, hurtful ending here, but then there's always a new beginning. So, you know, maybe they know that you need to, maybe they're fearing also with the fear here that this connection may come to an end um, as they're waiting for you. They feel this connection with you. They're feeling maybe it won't go anywhere. Maybe it'll just end. Um, they also know that you have been through a painful, hurtful ending also. It's kind of like, you know, they're watching you here. And they see how you've been bound and trapped in, uh, in what you've been going through. But I see you're working through it here because you're having these thoughts in your mind of wish fulfillment. But they're thinking it's over, it's done. I don't know. So let's see what the actual situation is here. So we have the Six of Stones. It's a good energy. We have the Knight of Mirrors. And we have the Queen of Spirals. So, okay. So, so the Six of Stones connected to you is the Six of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. That's the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So this is getting your balance. This is equaling things out. Uh, and here's that balance and healing energy of Six. And Pentacles is having equal balance. So I really feel like you've done your inner work, you've gone through the journey, you have self-forgiveness, now you're wanting wishful uh, wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy, because you have this balancing energy now. And connecting to them is the Queen of Wands. So fire energy, it can be male or female, so they could be air sign, fire sign, Virgo, I mean they could be anybody, but they're very passionate, you know, they're very a uh, go-getting energy here. Um, they go after what they want. I feel like they don't want this to end. They're feeling very passionate towards you. They want to go after this. They want it to manifest, but yet in the back of their head, they have these thoughts and fears of, well, what if this just connection just ends and it's over and it's done? But they're feeling very passionate towards you and they really want to go after you, but they are being blocked here entrapped by their thoughts but connecting the two of you is the knight of mirrors so that is you cancer scorpio scorpio pisces so you may actually now connecting the two of you come forward and tell them how you feel hey i like you um taking that action and that movement forward coming forward with um words of it may not be love but hey i like you to um you know, let's go out, let's do something, you know, and coming forward to this person. If it's not you, then I feel like they will to you. So one of you, I feel like will, there's passion, there's love or like or whatever you want to call it, and a very balancing energy between the two of you. All right, so let's see what your advice is now, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, I mean. I just did Scorpio. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Ten of Spirals in the King of Mirrors. So, fire, water. So this is your energy with the water. Kiss Scorpio Pisces, and we have fire over here. So, yeah, things are in a place right now where nobody knows where anybody's going. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Um, needing to choose a path, a route, which way to go. Laying down all the burdens and thoughts in your head and in your mind um, about this connection. So there's a need here to lay these burdens down, lay them to rest, choose a path, choose a direction in this connection. And it is coming forward here as a king, being, knowing who you are, what you want, um, being in tune with your feelings and emotions and being uh, this king and choosing the path and coming forward in a very king queen like energy and um, with love, affection, emotions towards this person so I really feel like you Pisces may have to um, come forward to this person and tell them how you really feel what you want in the connection you know go out for coffee what whatever here uh, to get this going here because I feel like everyone's feeling burdened and nobody knows what direction this is going in 
maybe there's no communication right now and uh, there needs to be communication here taking that action and standing up for this connection with the King of Cups energy all right so let's see Pisces what the possible outcome could be with this connection the ten of mirrors nice water energy here's your uh, energy Cancer Scorpio Pisces so here is happy home and family here's two people being so in love love emotions fulfillment in every single way abundance of joy and happiness happy home and family happy happiness and joy just all around every single cup being filled and overflowing with just love and emotions wow so that's your outcome if you choose to come forward to this person lay all the burdens down get rid of them choose a direction choose a path towards this person and you will have your ten of cups wow all right so let's get more clarity here so we have the seven of scrolls so this is seven of swords so this is um yeah seven of this deck is a little bit different so some they have scrolls and spirals sometimes i get a little confused but this is the seven of swords so this is you know um could be self-deceit it could be sneaking away out of a situation just to get out because it's just not good anymore and you just need to get away and get out you know any way you can like kind of like sneaking away um so i definitely feel here could have been self you know self-deceit in some way uh trying to hide how you both really feel for some reason knight of stone so again earth energy is the virgo Taurus, capricorn i mean they could be an earth sign but this is moving very slowly taking that slow steady um movement it's very secure grounded and stable it's long term the pentacles are always here for long term to build and grow slowly for a sure stable secure foundation for long term the sun leo energy so again here's total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way enlightenment uh, this is masculine male energy so uh, i think you'll find a lot of happiness and joy with this person success and victory growth expansion enlightenment uh happy home and family could possibly mean children kind of energy so success there happiness in all ways ace of stone so here's a brand new beginning it's stable secure and grounded building from a firm foundation up long term you know it's not going anywhere here and the sun is shining behind it so there you go there's this foundation building long term brand new beginning and the sun shining on this for long term victory success and happiness and joy it's a nice energy so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now so we have the page of stone so here's you know the communication coming forward with that sure stable grounded offer for long term you know building slowly taking baby steps for a very secure solid foundation for the future and somebody coming forward with that stable secure offer could be you to them them to you however this resonates for you and now you have the lovers so soulmate energy here so definitely feel like this is a soulmate energy making that choice yes I want this person this is my lover this is my soulmate two people coming together as one Gemini energy here okay five of Pentacles so yep I definitely feel like your person here feels uh, left out in the cold and abandoned because they don't know what's going on in this situation because they think it may be ending they just don't know so they're like thinking and contemplating what is going on here i just don't know is it over is it done am i going to lose this person feeling very sad and lonely and out in the cold and abandoned and neglected but then again soulmate energy here with the six of mirrors six of cups energy could have had past lives with this person could be someone you've known since childhood went to school with an old childhood sweetheart flame you know meeting up reuniting coming back together um definite soulmate energy here and possible past lives with this person seven of spirals so yeah being you know on guard and defensive so somebody in this connection at the beginning i feel was a, 
on guard, trying to protect themselves, um, and being a little defensive in this connection, this fire energy. Queen of Stones, so earth energy again here, being, you know, stable and sure and grounded and making your money, taking care of yourself, you know, growth, expansion in all ways. And there's a brand new beginning, very passionate, exciting, brand new beginning, moving forward. A lot of passion and excitement. Yeah, and here's the Hermit energy clarifying for Virgo. Going within, finding your light, finding your path, finding your way. What do you truly want? What path you need to go down? What choices you need to make for your future, for your happiness? And then taking that action forward, Cancer energy. Taking that movement and action forward towards your destiny, to your happiness and joy, being very balanced and uh, logical, having success and victory. Yep, so I definitely feel like Pisces here that it could have been you or your person being a little defensive on guard towards this connection, you know, not really sure where it's going. Nobody may, you know, maybe no communication. They think it's over, but they think of you all the time, especially when they listen to music. And you had to go through a process of healing and forgiving yourself. I don't know whatever you went through here. And now I feel like you've balanced yourself out. You've done your healing work, your inner journey work with the Virgo Hermit energy. And now you want wish fulfillment. You want your, you want your dreams to be uh, fulfilled in every way. And now I think maybe you're going to take action towards this person for the future for fulfillment and total happiness and joy for a solid, stable, new beginning, long-term, happy home and family. Wow. Wow. Okay, Pisces. So let's get some extra guidance here, uh, mes messages, guidance, advice for you in this connection, love connection, first half of August for Pisces. Pisces, first half of August. You can get some extra guidance and advice for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Anything for Pisces, first half of August. Wow, well, we've got three here. Oh, that's too many. I only usually only take one. Okay, this one wanted to stick. Loyalty. So, in 33, and three is a number of um, working together, teamwork, collaboration, um, and that sort of energy, social number. Um, so, yep, loyalty. So I feel, I feel this person will be very, you'll be very loyal to each other. They are loyal to you. You will be loyal to them. Uh, trustworthy. And then if you add three and three, six, that here's that healing, balancing energy. I feel like you will very much balance and heal each other in, in every single way here. Very loyal energy between the two of you. Wow. And you see the flowers there, growth, expansion. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Fulfillment. Wow. So again, total abundance, fulfillment in every way with this person. 22, two people coming to, together as one. It's with the soulmate energy, which we had um, the six of mirrors as soulmates, the lovers, two people coming together in union. Wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, total abundance, joy, and happiness, every single way with this person. Yep. So, Pisces, I see if you come towards this person and you tell them how you really feel, because they think it may be over, um, you, you will have a brand new beginning with this person. There's love, there's passion, there's loyalty, there's stability. There's soulmate energy here. Wow, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, um, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Um, hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. And much luck to you in your love connection here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channels, with the sun energy here, to so always, always shine your light.